Claustra Alpi Emiliarum, Latin for Barrier of the Julian Alps, hereby, the term Julian Alps refers to the wider mountainous and hilly region from the Julian Alps to the Kvarner Gulf, was a defense system within the Roman Empire between Italia and Pannonia that protected Italy from possible invasions from the east. It secured the Postagna Gate, the land link between the eastern and western part of the empire, and thus the claustra represented an inner border defense of the empire. Unlike a linear rampart, the claustra consisted of a series of interconnected fortifications with its center at Castra ad Fluvium Frigidum, in the area of today's town of Idishchina, the Vipava Valley. Other important fortresses were at Pirim on today's Huryusica Plateau and Tarsatica, now a part of the city of Rijeka. They had been governed from the town of Aquileia. In the year 6 AD the Great Illyrian Revolt took place threatening the Roman heartland. Subsequently, in order to protect Italy, a series of walls and fortifications were gradually erected around the area of the strategic post Ajna Gate. Most of the construction was done after 284 under Diocletian and Constantine I although this development was done subsequent to a major invasion of northern Italy by the Alemanni in 271. Whitaker indicates that inner fortification lines were primarily aimed to secure the internal stability of the empire rather than keeping barbarians out. 2. The fortification system included four Maile, in the area of today's Cividale del Friuli, Tarsatica, in the area of today's Rijeka, and followed the valley of the Iadrijka River. It stretched over the Postagna Gate to the hills south of Amona, in the area of today's Ljubljana. In-depth fortifications along the Roman road via Gemina started at the fortress of Castra ad Fluvio Frigido, the remains of which are today still visible in Idishchina, which was the center of the system, and ended at Noporchus, in the area of today's Vernica. The hill fortress of Adpiram was typically manned with 500 soldiers but could keep up to 100,000 soldiers. Adpiram's walls were unearthed by Austrian and Italian archaeologists and shown to be at a height of 8 meters and a thickness of 2 meters, the wall towers were 10 meters high. Prijama Castle is a Renaissance castle built within a cave mouth in south-central Slovenia, in the historical region of Inner Carniola. It is located in the village of Prijama approximately 11 kilometers from the town of Postajna and 9 kilometers from Postajna cave. The castle was first mentioned in 1274 with the German name Lug, when the Patriarch of Aquileia built the castle in Gothic style. The castle was built under a natural rocky arch high in the stone wall to make access to it difficult. It was later acquired and expanded by the Lug noble family, also known as the Knights of Adelsberg. The castle became known as the seat of the knight Erasmus of Lueg, or Lug, Luger, lord of the castle in the 15th century and a renowned robber baron. He was the son of the imperial governor of Trieste, Nikolai Luger. Sneznik Castle. The date of the castle's construction is unclear, its existence is first implied in 1269, by way of mention of its owner Meinhard von Schenberg. The castle itself was first mentioned in 1461, as the manor of Sneberg, at the time it was a possession of the Patriarchate of Aquileia, with the Schenbergs as their ministerials. The family fractured the estate through multiple heirs, by the late 14th century the castle had several co-owners. In 1393, a quarter share of it and several neighboring farms was purchased by William II von Lamberg, a relative of the Schubergs. His descendants increased their share through the 15th century until they owned the entire estate, giving the castle its more or less current renaissance appearance as well. Vilenia Castle. The castle, above its town Vilenia, is in the Salek Valley, located on the top of a hill to the west of the town. Over the centuries this castle, along with two others in its vicinity, Salek and Ekenstein, has played a key role in controlling the routes from the Tselia Basin to Carinthia. Archaeological excavations have revealed that the valley where the castle is located was the settlement of prehistoric man. Since medieval times, 
Valenia Castle in the Salek Valley was also known as the Valley of Castles for the over 20 castles built in this valley. Approach to the castle is from a foot track from the bus station in the town, and also by road from the old town. The castle was a strategically important fortress first mentioned in 1270, from it various owners controlled their routes from the Tsuyu Basin to Corinthia. From the 14th century, the castle's ownership has gone through several noblemen. The castle seen in the present shape was fully refurbished in the early 16th century by the Wagen von Wagensburg family and also in subsequent centuries. Following the complete renovation, the castle became their Renaissance residence. In the 19th century, Karl and Bianca Adamovich owned the castle. It was the summer residence of Count Karanini Krumberg until 1943 when he was evicted by the Germans. Subsequent to World War II, it became a government property. The castle was again renovated after 1957 and it now also houses a museum. Wild Lake is a lake near Idria in western Slovenia and a karst spring of the Vaucluzian type. The lake is the source of the Jezernica River, a tributary of the Idrijka and, at 55 meters, 180 feet, long, the shortest river in Slovenia. Water flows from under the ground and through a steeply inclined tunnel, explored to a depth of 160 meters, 520 feet. The discharge occasionally surpasses 60 cubic meters per second, 2,100 cubic feet per second. However, when the water level is low, there is no outflow from the lake. In 1967, the lake was protected as a natural monument. In 1972, it was arranged to be the first Slovenian natural museum. <laughs> Kluz is one of the most important Slovenian technical monuments, it is a high river barrier, built on the river Idrijka and streams Belsi, Zala, and Plavzarika, for collecting water and occasionally floating wood to the mercury mine in Idria. The forest slopes in the area are on limestone and dolomite hills and are steep, and the water courses do not have sufficient flow in the summer months. Therefore, for the flooding of wood, which was needed in huge quantities by the Idria mine, they began to build clubs, high water barriers, also called Slovenian pyramids. These valley barriers, first wooden, later masonry, were used for damming and launching. Initially, the wood used in the mine was stacked in the riverbed and waited for the rain, so that the water from the warehouses lifted the wood and carried it piece by piece to Idria to the rakes. These special barriers made of 412 meters long stakes, where the wood stopped. The first wooden cliffs were erected in 1589 in Zala, 1595 in Idrijka and 1750 in Belka. High waters often knock them down, so in the 18th century they were replaced by masonry ones. The first masonry cliffs was planned by the local Josef Mrak. They were built in the Idrijka Gorge, today known as Idrijsk Cliffs at an altitude of 707 meters above sea level. The walls of the 41.4 meters wide cliffs were 18 meters thick at the base and 10.8 meters at the top. Two canals, 3.8 meters wide and 5.6 meters high, were laid through the dam. They were closed by a mighty gate, behind which up to 210,000 cubic meters of water gathered in a 785 meters long dam. When they opened the door, the water behind the dam flowed through the canal in 15 to 20 minutes and took the wood with them to Idria, 20 kilometers away. Up to 13,000 square meters of wood could be floated with a single discharge. That's all for today. Thanks for visiting and I wish you all the best. Bye.